Hi, my name is Gaurav and in this new series, I'm going to talk about how to be an effective negotiator. As a category manager, I gathered a handful of negotiation techniques which I found to be effective and in this series, I'm going to share some of them with you. I was fascinated by negotiations especially the tricks and tactics my seniors were demonstrating and applying to gather more intel from suppliers. As I started documenting and reading about it, I found them everywhere. One of the major misconceptions I had that you can be over aggressive or even aggressive with your suppliers in every negotiation. I was wrong because by being overly aggressive or even aggressive, I was being predictable. So my suppliers would inflate the quotation by X percent just to make myself believe that I have extracted good discounts. Has it ever happened to you as well? Negotiation is about making the other party think they have won while you are getting the exact solution you want. Now, I think this is a very theoretical statement. Let me make it more practical. And that is the objective of this series. My first skill that I use is something called mirroring. You can read it on the internet. There's tons of material available. I use mirroring in two scenarios only. One, when I was dealing with a vendor who was not ready to share much information with me. In short, the vendor was being tight lipped about how much he wants to disclose at a given point of time. Second situation, when the vendor was new or the account manager was new or when I was new and I didn't have any trust or any repo with that particular vendor. So to summarize, I used mirroring in two scenarios. One, to gather more intel. Second, to build, to build that early trust with the vendor, which you can capitalize later. When you read about the theoretical definition of mirroring on the internet, it will tell you that mirroring is about repeating the last two, three spoken words of your counterpart. It generally is combined with either a inquisitive voice when you're asking a question or a downward inflection voice when you're actually confirming that you have understood what they have said. Now to give an example, when I'm, want, when I'm using the inquisitive voice, it will make the other party feel that they have to provide me the additional info. Example. I have given you the best terms and conditions. Best conditions. Take a pause and let that information inquisitive question sink in to the thought process of the supplier. Using this Mirroring technique on the last two, three spoken words combined with your inquisitive question, the supplier would then be forced to give you additional information. It's basic, but it works. Now, as I said, the second scenario where mirroring is used is to build trust and repo that you can exercise later to your advantage. Again, the way to build that is Demonstrate your understanding by repeating the last two, three words, but in a more convincing manner that you have understood. I have found mirroring very effective. By repeating the last two, three words, I saw some of the early friction between me and my supplier being phased away as we spoke more and more. One word of the question though, you have to be very careful when you're exercising mirroring. Overdoing mirroring may feel like mockery and the other party or the supplier would feel disrespected. Remember, in the negotiation, everybody wants to be heard. Everybody wants to be respected. It's not about being aggressive, as I said in the beginning. It's about making the other party communicate the deal that you wanted and getting to an agreement. Over the next few sessions, I'm going to share my skill number two. Watch out for that and leave your comments in the section below to let me know what do you think of this video? Have you interacted with anybody using mirroring? My name is Gaurav 
and thank you for watching my first video on how to be an effective negotiator. See you soon.